Hello and welcome to episode 30 of my knitting podcast. summer tops that I've knitted so far and maybe I can give you some inspiration and uh, you'll find it easier to choose uh, one of those if you uh, want to knit one of those. They're not necessarily all summer tops. I do wear some of them in the winter time as well uh, but yeah there are tops or kind of t-shirts that I've knitted and uh, I do have so I think I will start with the one that I like the least uh, not because I want to like badmouth the designer or uh, anything like the all of the patterns are great and all of them have uh, maybe their uh, ups and maybe little downs but uh, overall I have to say I love knitting all of them um, some of them I just chose the wrong yarn uh, for my choice or uh, the fit wasn't quite what I like to wear and actually, um, I'm already seeing, so I've got one on here that I'm quite surprised that I like the look of, even though I haven't ranked it that high in my list. Nevertheless, I think I will go, um, so I will make uh, this ranking from the ones that I wear the least to the ones that I wear the most. I think that's uh, fair to say. Um, or the ones that I think I wear the most, because one of them is one of a new, uh, is a new pattern, so... Um, that was only maybe released by now when you watch the video, but it is a new pattern, so I think it would be fun for you to see that as well. All right, uh, let's start with the first uh, summer top that I knit. So I tested this top for uh, Rachel Kuriabara. Um, I hope that's the right way to say your na the name. So it's a lazy daisy crop, and so. I used a, a hand dyed fingering weight yarn. Um, it was uh, so this yarn is not dyed anymore. Um, this, this company doesn't exist anymore. Um, and I gave this top away for a few reasons. So I think I don't quite remember which size I knitted, but I think it was ever so slightly too small for me. At the time that I knitted, I was maybe a little bit heavier. And I really didn't like to expose my shoulders and my arms, so just like my personal preference. But it was a tank top, so it had only like really um, small halters. And um, the version that I knit, so I was uh, one of the test knitters, and I think later on the pattern got corrected, but the um, straps were fairly far apart, so. Um, they were very close by the shoulders and I didn't quite like the look of it and um, it, the original pattern had a lot of embroidery on uh, the top but because I used a hand dyed fingering weight yarn um, there was a lot going on already on the top as like just the colors so I opted out doing the embroidery so it actually didn't look anything like the pattern and so it's totally my fault that I didn't like the pet, like the, the top that much. If you're somebody who likes like this playful pattern with the embroidered flowers uh, on the top, I think it is a great pattern and I can recommend it. It just wasn't for me. Um, the other thing, because the straps were so far apart, I found it really hard to uh, wear any kind of bra, even with a um, with a strapless bra. I couldn't really make it work. So that's one of the reasons why I didn't keep it. I gave it to my mom and I know she loves to wear it. She, like she wears it uh, outside in the summer in the garden. So uh, that's nice to hear. The second uh, top on my list. So uh, we're going from the back to the front. 
Again, I don't want to say anything bad about the designer and this was a lovely gift by uh, Anna, the designer from the Bluebird box. And so she gifted me the pattern and I had like a, a discount code for some time for my viewers. So um, she gifted me the pattern and so I knitted the uh, Canosi tank. I hope I say it right. I watched another episode the other day. So she's got a podcast now as well. And I've, uh, she talked about that one. And I think you say Kenosi. Um, so this is a pet top that is reversible in four ways. So you can have the reverse stocking it out, like I have now. Uh, you can have the normal stocking it out over here. And then in the back, you have like a beautiful lace. But you could also wear the lace in the front. And actually now that I'm wearing it, so it's the first time actually that I wear this top. And I have to say, I may be, might have misplaced in the list. I might have to like take it out and wear it more often. I thought, um, so I thought I didn't like the look of the knitted fabric that I created because, so the reverse stock on it. It's not, uh, it's always easier to find, like, see the imperfections in reverse stockinette than in normal stockinette. But uh, actually, I don't mind it. It looks quite nice. And because I am feeling a little bit more comfortable in my body <laughs> than maybe a year ago, um, I think I prefer the fit now. So I'm super happy. And I think I will get this out of my wardrobe more often now. I'm not quite too sure how to wear it. So at the moment I'm just wearing like high-waisted jeans and that could work. But I will probably need something like to put on top. So maybe like a linen shirt or so. I do have a linen shirt. I could just wear my linen shirt that I have, to be honest. So um, the look is great. You can wear it inside out, back to front. And the only reason why I haven't worn it so far is probably because I wasn't feeling comfortable. Now that I feel a little bit better in my own body, I think I, I will wear that more often. <laughs> I almost feel like, I, I actually feel bad that I've put that so far down the list. Um, the yarn that I used is the Hold Scarn Coast. Um, so that's like a, a cotton yarn. Cotton and wool blend, I think. Uh, let me quickly check. Um, I used the, yeah, it's a wool blend, so wool and cotton. And uh, I used the colorway putty. Um, it's double stranded, so it is a little bit warmer. Probably one of the reasons why I'm not too sure how to wear it because it is fairly warm, but still a tank top. But honestly, I could wear that at home at the moment because we have it quite warm in our apartment, but yeah, not too warm. Yeah, I will definitely put that on over the coming days. The next top on my list is another test knit that I did for uh, Xenia Naidon. And uh, you will find her on Instagram under the name uh, Life is Cozy. So this is called the Sinner Top. And I used uh, West Yorkshire Spinner's Signature 4 Ply. And two reasons why I don't wear it. The first one, it is quite snug. It's supposed to be a size 3, but I think I didn't measure it like well enough. And second of all, I knit that so, I made it so cropped. I'm almost embarrassed to show you. There we go. So, way too cropped for my liking. I would have to wear something like super high waisted. I'm not really comfortable with having, uh, yeah, my belly looking out. And the yarn that I chose is not really a summer yarn, I'll be honest. It is a proper, little bit scratchy <laughs> sock yarn uh, with nylon in it and yeah. Can't recommend the, the combination of the yarn and the length. But I think the top looks really nice. So I will have a look if I know 
I don't know, if I have maybe a friend or so who might like this uh, top and who doesn't mind wearing itchy yarns. <laughs> uh, it, I think it does look lovely and um, I would probably make that again if I would have the time to knit so much. But um, it is a fingering weight uh, pattern so it does take a little bit of time. Um, but overall I think it is a great project. It just, uh, yeah, uh, is not the right yarn. Totally my fault. Um, on my Ravelry page you will see like um, the picture that I took and it looks super nice worn. Um, but uh, it is just like not very good for everyday life I think. So, um, but a lovely pattern and super great if you want to just use up uh, partial skeins. You could just like stripe it with different colors. And I know one of the testers I rem remember. So these uh, stripes are random, um, but uh, one of the testers to just like decide on the stripes, uh, stripes she used a, uh, a dice and she just like, um, yeah, every time she wanted to know how many rows. Uh, to make in one color, she just threw the dice. I think that's a nice idea to like uh, let somebody or something else make the decision. And yeah, so this is the um, third top uh, in reverse order on my uh, summer top list. The next top that I want to show you is the uh, Chianti top by Lucia, Luisa Puccini. So I tested it for her. Um, so I tested this pattern for her and I love it. I think it's a lovely top. The only thing that I have to do with this one, I have to really shorten the straps because uh, they are too long. I made them too long or actually they stretched out a lot. So um, that's something I need to change. And then I will just have to like wear like a nice bra below because it is quite see-through. So now I'm wearing just like a... A nude colored bra or you could wear like a more obvious maybe like a bikini or so below if you're uh, on vacation either or I think it's a lovely top um, I haven't worn it because I haven't been on any beach vacation so for like for a long time but maybe this will change eventually and maybe I get a few days away uh, on some nice beach so I might uh, use it then um, the other re reason why I don't wear it that much because I, I'm not quite sure what to wear with it. Like, should I wear it just with jeans, like on an evening out? That would be maybe a good idea. And just wear like a blazer on top or so. I'm not too sure. So, um, yeah, again, I mainly don't wear it because I wasn't feeling quite comfortable to wear it and because I need to change the straps. But other than that, it's a lovely top. And uh, the yarn that I used is the. Um, Sula's Lithuanian Linen. It's a free ply and it's super affordable. I think when I did it, so I made this top maybe a couple of years ago and I paid uh, seven pounds in total for this uh, top. So I just used uh, a little bit less than one skein of uh, the Lithuanian Linen. And the uh, lace was a lot of fun to knit. So totally can recommend this one if you're after something really airy um, and yeah, intricate and fun to knit. The next one on my list is the um, Cloudberry Tea by Fiber Tells. So I test knitted this one for Fiber Tells, and now putting it on, I think some of the tops that I wore before would deserve to be a little bit higher than this one. Um, just because, yeah, I haven't worn this one for a little while, but I did, I, I did wear this one at the beginning when I made it. So I thought actually this was a little bit more of my preferred ones, but actually now looking at it, it does have a lot of fabric under my arms. It could probably do with a little bit more positive ease, to be honest. And it is, so it is fairly fitted. The sleeves are quite fitted and I think, yeah, probably I got the gauge a little bit wrong. Um, overall, I think it is a really sweet pattern. So it's got this um, color work cloud berries on the sleeves and then it's just a plain uh, drop shoulder t-shirt. I um, So I tested this one for her and it was very much at the beginning of like my knitting journey 
and I use the Kamarose uh, Oculus Summer Ult, Summer Ult, so like a uh, ecological summer wool, and I think it's not the right yarn again for this top. It is um, too warm, I think, for like a, a drop shoulder tee, I would say. And um, overall, I think I should have probably made a size bigger, maybe to get like a little bit like, uh, yeah, have the fabric maybe uh, not so much under my armpits, if that makes sense. Um, and just to have a little bit like more air, like room in my sleeves. But that's totally my fault, honestly. Uh, nothing wrong with the pattern. And I did also did, uh, do the cuff off uh, on the neckline too um, tight. So I have to like kind of like force my head through it. It's been like that from the beginning. I could have just changed it, but you know how it is. I didn't. Um, and the other thing is, it is a little bit cropped. Actually, it's not too cropped. I think I had it worse in my memory than it is in real life. Um, but it's like just on the border of being a little bit too cropped, I think. I'm comfortable with it when I wear long, uh, like very high waisted jeans, like the one that I'm wearing now. But probably I wouldn't wear it uh, without a high waisted jeans. Let's put the next one on. So, this is the felt tee by Herb Garden Knitwear, my friend Hannah. And uh, I love this one. So we're already, so this is like the fourth on my list from the like top down. Um, so this uh, design was available for free for a certain amount of time, but now Hannah has um, the rights back on the pattern so you can actually purchase this pattern. And I love it. I uh, used the Eden Cottage Yarn Melbourne DK, which is one of my favorite yarns. I think of all times probably. <laughs> um, I love the feel of it. It's a combination of wool and silk, I believe, um, which is out of my head, I think. And um, this is the colorway Bramble. I love that color. It's really my color. I use a lot of this kind of colored lipstick and uh, nail polish. Maybe not today, but normally, yeah, close, uh, very close uh, to my uh, favorite uh, nail polish. And yeah, overall, lovely. The only thing is, so it's knit uh, bottom up, and unfortunately, I made it a little bit too short. So you can see it is very cropped. Very cropped. <laughs> Again, I can only wear it with a very high waisted jeans. But other than that, totally re can recommend. It is easy to follow, it looks nice, and this yarn is a dream. I love it. It is warm enough, but not too warm, and yeah, it wears really well. Um, yeah, uh, I think the reason why it is so cropped, if I remember right, I was a little bit off gauge, and because it is, uh, yeah, I followed the pattern uh, completely, and because it is knit in like, instead of saying, knit that many centimeters, it says knit that many rows, I ended up having it a little bit too cropped. I'm still thinking if I should maybe just like pick up stitches and knit downwards, but I don't know whether that will look good or not. It might be an idea. I could do that. Uh, I will probably not do that, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm way too lazy to do that. Uh, I'll just try to wear it like it is. But a lovely top and a lovely design, and I ten, can totally recommend it. The next top that I want to review is the Sinecure top by uh, Xenia Naidon. I already mentioned her before, so I did my first test knit for her when I was uh, knitting on the Cinder top, and this is the second one. No, actually, I think I might have knit something else for her, but yeah. So this is another test knit that I made for her or that I participated at, and this is my, I would say it's my third favorite one, uh, just because like the three first ones on my like, my preferred um, summer tops, they're all kind of like almost all on the same level. I love this one. I find the neckline so beautiful. It has a lot of bubbles and it was a lot of work. I remember I had quite a lot of 
hand pain because you do a lot of twisted stitches, um, slip stitches and then you do bubbles. So it is a lot of work, um, don't get me wrong, but I absolutely love it. Um, my all-time favorite, um, no, that's wrong. It's not my all-time favorite, otherwise it would on, be on number one, but it is one of my favorite ones. And I think it looks super nice, super intricate. Uh, the fit is great. I used this alpaca yarn that uh, has quite a lot of drape to it. So it has grown over time. It was a little bit shorter before and I back in the, like when I made it I thought oh I'm lazy I'm just gonna cast on and it will just be a little bit cropped but actually it grew over time so I'm not mad about it. it actually, it's actually perfect. I do wear it a lot um, either like when we have like maybe dinner with friends or so I wear it with jeans or I can wear it with I like nice trousers so yeah. Uh, recommendation um, if you're after something more intricate it does take a lot of concentration because you have to follow the pattern but totally worth it I might not do it again though because it was a lot of work but I love it number two on my list uh, so this is a recent finished object and if you've watched my last knitting podcast um, I will link it up here uh, you will have heard me talking about it. It is the latest um, pattern released by Lily Kate Franz. Uh, it's called the Abidus Top and I love it. It is so beautiful. I find it's like the look of it makes it looks super luxurious. Um, luckily the yarn that I use has a lot of uh, sheen to it as well so it makes it look special. And I'm actually knitting already the second version, so I showed that one in my last podcast episode. Here it is. I'm knitting a second one that will look a little bit different because I'm using like an apaka yarn. So it's much more uh, hairy and so it's got a lot of halo to it. But I do love this version. And yes, if you finish one and it like uh, cast on the second one straight away, I think it's a good sign, right? Uh, I used a Merino DK as my main yarn from my friend Marina from Sorry Patches Yarns and then I used a um, yeah like a, a Tilia from Vilkulana, uh, like the mohair match, matching in the color and yeah totally can recommend it it is lovely and yeah super classy and will be used a lot of times I think in the future Obviously I haven't worn it that much so far, I've only really worn it today while it's filming, but um, yeah, I love it. it, it does feel super nice to wear, so I can totally recommend it if you're after something special for yourself or maybe for a friend. And this is the winner or my favorite summer top. It's not like a summer, super summer top, so you can easily wear this in the winter time as well, but I think this is my all-time favorite summer top just because I have been wearing it a lot and it's actually, I've knit this one twice and uh, so this is the Poisoned Apple Top by uh, Lily Kate Franz I, the first version that I made uh, was in a lovely yellow out of the Eden Cottage Yarn Milburn DK in the colorway Harvest Gold uh, combined with a um, uh, onion knit silk and kit mohair uh, in the colorway golden but uh, then I loved it so much so I gave that one to my sister I made the third size and then I decided to make one for myself and I made one size smaller a little bit more fitted and so I do love the fitted look um, but I do also love the golden color of the other one so both have their advantages uh, but I'm so pleased with this one it might be ever so slightly a bit tight on the arms so just by the look of it it doesn't feel so tight but maybe it, look, it does look a little bit but it's got these lovely poop, uh, like um, poof sleeves and it does look so nice I've been wearing that a lot for like uh, special dinners uh, I wear it with uh, skirts or with uh, weak jeans uh, or nice uh, trousers and Overall, I can't praise this pattern enough. I think it looks lovely 
and I've received a lot of compliments for it or like every time I wear it somebody like compliments on it and it's so nice to be able to say oh yeah I made that myself so it's got this super lovely keyhole detail in the back uh, where you can maybe like put like a special uh, button I uh, put like a nice uh, uh, mother of pearl like a vintage uh, button there and yeah I can absolutely recommend this one. I've knit this one twice and I wouldn't mind knit, to knit that again, I'll be honest. Um, so if you're after something really special, go for this one. I haven't seen any version that I didn't like. So I, um, there's quite a few of these tops already around. Uh, quite a few people have knit that and it looks lovely in all sizes. I think it looks super nice. So Lily's done a really great job. So these were all my uh, summer tops. Uh, you have maybe noticed that a few designers were there a couple of times. So I do love uh, Lily Kate's uh, patterns. I do think her patterns are really well written. Same as uh, Xenia's patterns. Um, both of them are probably on my like favorite designers list. <laughs> if you have a list like that, I don't know. All the other patterns are great as well, like uh, Herb Garden Knitwear's pattern is really well written. Um, yeah, I don't want to name all of them again, but just so you know, it, the list or the ranking is not because I didn't like one less, or I did like one less or so. It's more because maybe my choice of yarn was not as appropriate maybe for the pattern. And um, a lot of the ones that I didn't like that much were actually pet uh, projects that I knitted like a couple of years ago where I didn't have that much uh, knitting experience, where I didn't have that much, ex much experience in um, choosing the right yarn for the right project. I think I have gotten better with that, but I'm still learning. And sometimes I think this is the best idea and it turns out not to be the best idea. So yeah. Uh, I think it is a never-ending process and sometimes stuff works out, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, with this one I'm so happy and it would be nice to know or to find out that you were maybe inspired by some of them. So make sure to tag me if you did one of those that I have recommended or leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It would be lovely to see you amongst my uh, subscribers. Well, until then, I hope you're doing well. And I hope you would enjoyed this a little bit of a different kind of video. And uh, until the next time, I hope you keep on knitting. Bye-bye.